How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another NHL 24 franchise rebuilding challenge for our next team, the Dallas Stars. So, should be pretty interesting. They are our final Western Conference team. In terms of the uh, normal teams, right, we have the other, you know, Stanley Cup final teams that we got to do. So those will be our last two teams. But Dallas is up for today. Four seasons, try to win a Stanley Cup. Injuries, morale, all that fun stuff is on. Everything's off those morale meetings. Not that you would see those anyway. Just they're, they're annoying. So uh, not meant to be realistic. And if we mispronounce these names, we mispronounce these names. So just got to point that out there. All the rules are down in the description. They always are. Leave a like, subscribe, join the content, comment on this video, socials, play the second channel, main channel, down in the description. If you like the content, me TJP. You get the drill by now. For those that don't, again, everything's in the description. So with that being said, let's get on to the gameplay. All right, so let's take a look here at the roster. Last time I'm going to show you guys this view. After that, we're just throwing lines. So we got Jason Robertson. Top guy on the team. Of course, him with... Uh, Hayeskinen, so we got him on the squad. We've got Rupins, uh, Joe Pavelski, the Elder Statesman, JB Ben, uh, Shane on the squad. We've got um, Sagan, uh, Lindell, Johnston, uh, Ryan Suter, Marchment on the team, Jenny, uh, Redek Foxa, Sam Steele, Thomas Harley, uh, Campa on the squad. Uh, Craig Smith, uh, Ty Delandria, Dills Ludkist, and Joel Hanley. That is what we've got in terms of skaters. Now let's look at our goalies. And our goalies are uh, Jay Godinger and uh, Scott Wedgwood. Uh, so not too bad. Not too bad. Now we're going to take a look at the lines here. Now that's the wrong one. I want to edit them. Want to take a look? We're gonna have head coach edit them, of course. I mean, you know, the head coach, but we're gonna look. We're gonna maybe make some of our changes, especially considering the fact that we have uh, a line with negative cam. So I, I would like to maybe adjust that a little bit. I mean, we could have Dudnov play on that uh, line there. I mean, we could try to get another forward as well. I mean, maybe that would be the move. We do something like this. That actually might be okay. Duchesne be on the third line. Same thing defensively. No cam. Right side is kind of weak. Uh, so we can maybe use a right defenseman. Left side is pretty solid. And of course, we have our goalies as well. Looking just like that. Jay Godinger and uh, Scott Wedgwood. So I think we can maybe try to get some right defensemen to improve that uh, side of the ice. So maybe we'll try to get that done first. And then maybe at the deadline, we can look to maybe make a move for another forward. So I'm going to see what's out there in the market. We don't have a lot of cap room, though. So if, if I can't make a move, then we'll just keep the team as is. And then we'll uh, figure it out going forward from there. All right, I think because we're a little tight on the money, we're just going to keep the team as is for now. Maybe at the deadline, we'll like to make a, make a couple moves or so. So we'll just keep the team as is and go on from there. I think we should be pretty solid regardless of making a move or not. I mean, this team was in the conference finals last season, so... All right, so we're sitting at 29-14-6, and six, uh, which puts 64 points. One of the better teams in the National Hockey League. So we're playing pretty well. We've got a Joe Pavelski putting up 62 points on the season so far. Looking great. Uh, 56 from uh, Hintz. Robertson with 55-40 from Duchesne. We've got 36 from Tyler Sagan. Uh, or Sagan, rather. Uh, ben, not doing too bad. 33. Uh... Haskinen, he's doing solid, 32 points. Get your assist there, Roops. 41, 39 from Pavelski, Robertson. Haskinen with 30 apiece, 34, uh, 24 from Duchesne and Sagan. Uh, goals, Jason Robertson, 25. That's the guy right there. That is the guy. So he's looking good there. Get your hits, block shots, giveaways, and takeaways. Let's take a look at those real quickly. 107 hits there from JB Ben to lead the team. Block shots, Lindell. 74, then you could give away leaders and take away leaders looking just like that. So cool, 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 cool. 63 there. See the team stats. So like I said, we are one of the better teams in the National Hockey League. Bruins, 66 points right now. Now we're just going 3.80 goals for premium. That is second best only to the Jets. And then uh, our defense goals against. I mean, we're looking pretty solid for the most part. Like I said, if we can get a defenseman, that'd be nice. I'm going to look around and see if there's maybe a way we can make a move now to try to improve the defensive uh, right side of the defense. So 
let's see what happens and um, see if we can try to add more talent to the team before simulating further. All right, David Jurczyk, second, third round pick. We traded away as well as Stankovin to the Blue Jackets, getting David Jurczyk to help out our defense. Um, I'm pretty happy with that trade. Again, right defense will help us out. He's a quality player. He's very young, so he will continue to improve. I like that pickup for us. Let's see the rest of the way. I'll see you guys at the end of the season where, like I said, hopefully, well, we should be able to make the playoffs, but can we go far? That's uh, That question remains to be seen. All right, so we finished 100 points. Uh, one of the better teams in National Hockey League. Not the best, but one of the better ones. Uh, and we're going to be taking on the Chicago Blackhawks. Trying to stop simulating. Wow. I was trying to stop simulating EA, but okay. Give me a first game loss against the Blackhawks. I, I mean, that's just not what I wanted to do, but okay. Uh, 91 points, and now we're down 1-0 uh, in the series. Uh, it was completely by accident, but again, you know, EA, I'm pressing the stop button, and you just keep going, going, going. Uh, but yeah, here are the regular seeds. That's a Pavelski, Robertson doing their thing out there. Hints, right? So the point leaders. Yeah, 103 from Pavelski is pretty insane. That's your goals there. Root, 66, 62 assists there for Pavelski. 50 from Robertson, 47 from Hayskinen. Uh, Duchesne with 41. Get your goal scoring there. Two guys with at least 40. Pavelski and Robertson leading the way on that front. You got your power play points looking just like that. In case you guys care. You got nine guys in double figures. Four guys at least 20. So that's cool to see. Uh, do we have 10 guys? No, no, not 10. Hits, block shots, giveaways, and takeaways. We'll take a look at those, uh, which look just like this. We got five guys, these 100 hits. 171 there for me. It's pretty insane. Lindell is scratch. Shout out the EA Sim Engine for that. Uh, 112 from Haskinen. Giveaways and takeaways. So, cool stuff there. Let's look at the goalies. Eh, nothing too crazy on that front, but, uh, you know, passable. And yeah, let's see the uh, team stats. So, we did clinch our conference somehow. It's the best team in the conference, but... Already down 1-0. Typical. Uh, 3.65 goals, 4 per game. Uh, second best in the National Hockey League. 3.11 goals against. And it's not too bad, but, you know, could be better. So something to focus on maybe in the offseason. But, yeah, as you can see, we're already down 1-0 uh, in the series. Trying to stop the game from simulating. But it, uh, you know, decided let's just simulate past it. And so we're already down 1-0. Let's see if we can uh, maybe eat up the series. Nope, we go down 2-0. Um, which is a great start. Um, let's try to maybe get a win. We do win game three. If we win game four in the series, that'd be nice. We do make it best of three now. Game five would be huge to win it. And we do. And if we could win four straight, that'd be fantastic. And we actually do. Let's go. Usually it doesn't happen. Usually it's uh, a loss there. But we got the W, so I'm not too mad about that. We got the second round here. We got the St. Louis Blues in the second round. So... They were a 93-point team in the regular season. So, take it as you may. Let's see if we can beat them here. Game 1 will be a 2-1 loss. Can we maybe win Game 2? Yes, we can. It's a 1-1 series. Game 3 would be nice to win it. If we don't, we lose it 7-3. Are we going to go down 3-1? We are. Let's go. EA Sim Engine coming in clutch. Uh, now we got to win three straight. Don't think that's going to happen. Probably going to lose this game, but you never know. Uh, well, good start there. Do not with the goal, so I like that start. That's what we need. We need to get off on a good start. That's, that's great. And we got a power play five on three. Can't convert. Got a lot more shots than they do. They still only have three shots. We have a lot of shots. We're not uh, having trouble converting right now, but we convert right there marching with the power play goal. Um, and we are up 2-0. We're looking good. That was a good first period right there. And uh, Saad getting a goal. Okay, 2-1. to one. They got a power play. And we just cannot seem to convert for some reason. We have a lot more shots than they do, but we're not getting the puck into the back of the net. But there we do. Kampa uh, getting a goal there, but then Verana gets it right back. So now we're only up 3-2. to two. So... I need, I need more insurance. There we go. Sagan getting a goal right there. And it is another power play. We do not convert. We're up 4-2, though. Uh, the time is dwindling down. So it looks like we are going to win this game, which is cool. Looks like we're going to get an extra goal very soon. We're going to get an extra goal right here, I assume. Nope, we don't. Okay, I thought maybe we would, but it's fine. I like how has the win. I mean, game 6 would be nice to win and force game 7. So let's see if we can do that. 
So we're going to the game. Let's do it. We're getting load kiss back, which is nice. He was hurt. Everybody's getting hurt. So up 1-0. Robertson getting a power play goal to start off. Love that. Very good stuff there. Maybe we can make it 2-0. Nope. Good job, though, not allowing the power play. They got another power play, though. They get it this time. They are not. Can we go up 2-0, potentially? We got a power play. And, um, okay. We did not go up 2-0. Power play here. Now we do. So you can get a goal. 2-0. Okay, we're looking good right now. Maybe we can come back and win this series. 3-0 now. Two goals for uh, Sagan, which is fantastic. If we get a fourth one, I'm confident. I am very confident. And, yep, I am confident that we are going to win this game. Uh, they get a goal. Hayes, but 4-1, I'll take the victory. So we're going to a game seven. This is great. Okay. Let's try to win three straight, EA. I know you don't want to do it, but it would be nice if you could. You, you got me this far already, so might as well just give us the win. Let's see. Power play. Can we convert? We've been pretty good at that and Robertson converting. So I will say we've been very good in the power play. Uh, and we've been defending it fairly well as well. This is, uh, great. So we're up 1-0. Are they going to get one here? They are not. Again, defending it very well. And we're going to be up 1-0 end of the first period, heading into the second period. Let's see if we can kind of hold this lead here. And Pavelski getting a power play. Man, we, we are very good in the power play against like St. Louis. They just cannot seem to defend us on the power play. I don't know why. And we're up 3-0 now, so I'm liking this. 4-0. Uh, I'm confident. I'm confident we're going to win this. And we do. 4-0. I didn't even need to watch the entire thing. We are going to the conference finals. Okay, so we are back in the conference. A little bit of a whirlwind because we were down 3-1. But, you know, we got to where we needed to be. And we're taking on Colorado here in the and of course dude now getting hurt so in the west conference finals avalanche they were a 92 point team okay we were the best team in the uh west so i don't know we'll see what happens here game one against colorado it's gonna be a 2-1 overtime loss game two we lose four to two okay this is not looking good and we are about to get swept here courtesy of ea sim engine i'm not even gonna watch this game and we get swept. Shout out to EA Sim Engine there, giving us a sweep in the Western Conference Finals. Um, it is what it is. But again, we had injuries. You saw there, we had several guys getting hurt. So that did not help us out. We actually didn't really do that good in the playoffs. We were 89. But, uh, you know, got, got there at least. But yeah, definitely a disappointing ending to the season getting swept. But then again, when, you know, half your lineup goes scratched or gets or has to play injured, it, it, it sucks. So what are you going to do? Uh, but nevertheless, we have something to build upon. Let's head on to the offseason, look at the awards, and then try to add some more talent to the team. Bruins win the Stanley Cup. I think that makes sense, potentially. Let's take a look here at the Stanley Cup champs. I'm pretty sure they were the, were they the best team in the NHL? They were, right? No, the Red Rangers were. Uh, okay. Do we have any Dallas Stars here, perhaps? Not this season. All right, let's head on to the offseason. All right, I traded a uh, pick 30 in three seconds to the centers to trade up to pick nine. I'm trying to get the number one overall pick here from the Flyers. Traded to get pick 12 from the Ducks. Uh, future first, second, and two, three third rounders. And I'm hoping that'll be enough to maybe get a deal done with the Flyers here. We've got to be fast, though. All right, traded for Bo and Byram, two first. I couldn't, I couldn't get the number one overall pick. Uh, but we do get a good defenseman in Bowen Byram. Young guy plays both left and right, so that'll help out our defense at least. Wanted to get the franchise guy. He's an 80 overall, but unfortunately couldn't get him. It is what it is. Not a problem. At least we got a good player out of those picks, so I'll take it. So I would like to keep Pavelski around. I mean, why wouldn't I want to? So we'll throw him a contract. One-year deal is all he wants. I mean, we don't have a lot of money to play around with, so uh, Duchesne like to keep around if we can throw him a one-year deal uh but yeah like i said we are kind of over the cap so we're just qualify the rest of these guys try to get them back but we might be losing some players here uh which is unfortunate uh, but you know we gotta do what we gotta do so all right so pavelski wants to test i'm probably gonna end up losing him because we're not gonna have enough money same thing with duchene wedgwood wants to test um, a couple guys there resign low guys but a bunch of guys looks at their qualifiers but yeah it looks like we're probably gonna be losing a couple of guys 
which is gonna be tough since we don't have a lot of money. But we'll see. I mean, maybe we get some guys on a discount, but I don't know. 8.87 million is gonna be tough. All right, so I picked up Kyle Poso. Um, Kamano, we got him back on the team. Feligno was picked up. I did re-sign Pavelski. I mean, that's pretty much it. Hopefully some guys accept their qualifiers, but we're not, we're basically over the cap now. So it's... All right, so to start the second season, I mean, if we look at the lines, they actually look all right. I made a small change to put uh, Johnston in the second line to give us some chem. Top line's pretty solid. Second line's all right. Third line, I, honestly, all the lines are all right. Bottom line's a little iffy, but again, we have at least plus one chem there, which is cool. Then you got defensive lines. I mean, no chem on the top line, but it's obviously really talented. Second and third line have at least chem, which is good. Then you got your goalies as well. We got Odinger. We've got Murray as our backup. So Wedgwood is uh, gone, unfortunately. I mean, we'll see what happens with this team. I mean, we were good last season, made it to the conference finals again. I'm hoping this year we can maybe do the same. I mean, this is basically the team. We're over the cap. We're very, very tight on money. So it's ride or die with the squad. So let's uh, sit until the end of January. If I make a move before, then I'll let you guys know. But let's see how this team does. It's 64 points, 29, 15, and 6. Looking pretty good. Now let's take a look here at the team leaders. Robertson, 48 for the homie. Pavelski, 40, hints with 39, 38 from Sagan, uh, Delandria with 31, 30 from Ben, Hayes, Kidden, 29, 28 from Byram, Johnson, 27 points. In terms of uh, assists, we've got hints with 29, 28 from Robertson, Delandria with 26, 24 from Byram, 22 from Sagan, Hayes, with 22, or Hayes, Kidden with 22, right? You can see the assist leaders. Robertson, 20 goals, hit six guys in double figures so far, which probably point leaders, two guys with at least 10, Robertson and Pavelski, so that's cool to see. Get your hits, block shots, giveaways, and takeaways. Looking pretty solid. 113 hits there from Hints. That's looking nice. Hit through from De David Jurichek. Robinson's up there with 81. Block shots, 74 from uh, Myro. Uh, you got your giveaways and your takeaways looking just like that. So if we look at the goalies, Jay Godin did 2.96 goals against average, and Murray's been really good as a backup. So it's good to see. Let's take a look at the standings here. Standings are as follows. 3.26 goals for per game. And we are one of the top teams in the league. Top five. Yeah, 3.26 goals for per game. It's not too bad. It's definitely top half of the league. And then 2.98 goals against is also pretty solid. Uh, so we're, we're offensively and defensively doing, you know, good. Nothing I'm right home about. But, yeah, this is the team. Like I said, we are over the cap. I mean, unless I want to trade all my best players away from 7th round picks. I mean, that would be very, very obvious to do. I like doing that in 2K because that is my favorite thing to do. We, wow, he's got great trade value. Woo! But I'm not doing him. Not trading him. Not trading uh, Jason Robertson. No, 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 no. We're keeping him on the team. So let's um, simulate. And I will see you guys at the end of the season where... We should be able to make the playoffs. All right, so we're in the playoffs, taking on the Avalanche. I thought we just simulated one of the first games. We we ended the season playing against them. We had uh, 108 points. They had 106 on the season. So we had a good year. Uh, we were, like I said, 108 points. Pretty solid. Black Sox, 111. Now, our scoring wasn't that great, surprisingly. But uh, we are 3.16 goals for per game, which... I would think that's more like middle of the pack, maybe. Kind of middle, yeah. Maybe top half still. But defensively, we were pretty solid. So, I mean, I'll take it. Now, let's look here at the points. Robinson leading team with 84. Pavel, oh, we had some guys hurt. Ben missed some games. Pavelski, 67 points. Since with 67. Sig with 62. 57 from Jamie Ben. Not too bad on that front. You got your assist leaders. 49 from Hints. 45 from Robertson. 40 from Pavelski. Hayes could it with 38, 37 from Sagan, 34 from Byram and Delandria, 30 from Ben Johnson with 19. You got your goals, 39 from Robertson, 27 from Babelski, Ben, Sagan, Hints, right? Looking pretty good on that front. You got your power play points. We've got seven guys in double figures. Hits, block shots, giveaways, and takeaways. Eight guys, at least 100 hits, almost a nine with Byram, one away. Uh, Hayes could in with 113 block shots, 105 from David Jerichek who is scratched right now, <clears throat> can't seem to catch a break, giveaways and takeaways looking just like that, and of course goalie stats, honestly the goalies are pretty good, so the question is can we compete in the playoffs against the Avalanche, well we're going to find out right now, 
Last time we played them in the playoffs, we got swept. Uh, but last time we played them, uh, we beat them 2-1. to one. So let's see if we can replicate said success from three days ago. We do. Game one, we get the W. Game two, we get the W. So we're up 2-0. Can we go up 3-0? We can't. We get shut out 2-0. Okay, game four would be nice to win it. Of course, we don't try to the EA Sim Engine, and are we going to lose game five? You bet, because it is a EA. It's very obvious. Um, so, I don't want to lose four straight, but let's see. We've been pretty good in the Sim, so we'll watch it. Maybe get some power plays, because we're pretty solid at that. They're going to get a power play goal here. They are not. Let's go. Good stop there from us. Maybe we can go up 1-0. Be nice. Can we go up 1-0? Can we go up 1-0? It's not looking like we will. It's going to be 0-0 zero zero at the end of the first period. Second period here. Colorado, 5-on-3, five 5-on-4. Three, five Great job there to not allow a power play goal. And they got another power play. Eventually, they're gonna con we're going to concede. And there we go. O'Connor getting a goal 1-0. But that wasn't a power play. But still, conceded way too many opportunities for them. So we need to get an opportunity here. We got a power play. Can we convert? Nope, but they do at the end. But we get one there. Sagan, 2-1. to one. Got to somehow tie up this game and take the lead. And Johnson getting a goal there is helping out. But then we give it right back up. Nathan McKinnon, nice. All right. Can't seem to hold the lead for more than 13 seconds. Or draw, whatever it is. Can't speak. Dallas, got to score, buddy. Six minutes. And we tied up. Carlo Poso, not too bad. We going on overtime in game six? We just might be. And we are going to overtime. We're going to do this. And already it ended. And it ended in a loss. Shout out to EA Sim Engine. Woo! Beautiful. Losing four to three. Could we have predicted that one? I mean, after losing four straight. I mean, yep. I mean, it's just this game we could have won. Could have been three to two. And, you know, then we lose in overtime. I love it. So, definitely a disappointing ending of the season. Definitely a disappointing ending. Uh, but we got two more seasons, so can't, can't be too mad about it, right? Uh, Suter. Missing some games. Landria missing a game. Don't like that. Definitely not helpful when we got some guys missing games. Jamie Ben also being scratched doesn't help. So, a lot of guys in and out of the lineup. So, maybe that's part of the reason why. Let's uh, head on to the end of the season, look at the awards, and then go on to the offseason. Bruins win the Stanley Cup again? Didn't they just win it? Or was I... Nope. Yeah, they went back-to-back -back somehow. President Trophy winners. Avalanche also lost to them again. It was literally a rematch of last season Stanley Cup. Uh, I don't see any Dallas Stars, so let's head on to the offseason. I actually didn't even realize we had a first round pick. I completely forgot about that. So I didn't even make any trades with the picks, but that's fine. So we drafted some guy that was in the first round, but it's not a big deal. So oh, we'll have money at least. Uh, we got to make sure we sign Byram. Ben on the team. Want to keep him on the squad, I would assume. We'll throw him a one year contract. Uh, if he wants to stay, great. If not, no worries. Qualify uh, Lindell. So cool stuff there. Let's um, figure out what's happening. So I'll see you guys once uh put some offers on the table. All right, we got ourselves Kyle Poso back, Feligno, Jamie Van wants to test, Dudnov resigns, Campo resigns, Foxer resigns, Lindell wants to test, Steele resigns. We got a lot of guys that wanted to resign, which is good. Um, I want to get a goalie in free agency, so I'm gonna definitely look to do that. All right, pick up Kevin Lankinen. Got ahead, got ahead of goalie, so you get a goalie. We also got Jake McCabe as well. Trying to get a right winger here, and then we're just bring back the rest of the guys. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Got ourselves Frank Vitrano. Frank Vitrano, welcome to the team, my friend. I feel like it's a pretty solid pickup for us. All right, we re-signed Jamie Ben, and we're going to get back to a bunch of guys here on the team as well. Let's head on to the start of the third season. Third season is upon us here. Let's take a look at the lines. I did make a couple changes just to give ourselves some chemistry. And it's Robertson, Hins, Pavelski, plus four on the top line, plus two on the, on the second line here. I just switched around. Ben and Sagan. Third line's all right overall-wise. Fourth line's a little weak, but, you know, defensively, no chem on the top line. But talent-wise, it's good. Second line, plus two chem. Switched around McCabe and Lundqvist. And then the goalies, Odinger and Lankinen. 
pretty solid. I feel like the team should be good again. The question is, like I said, it's always going to be how we're going to do in the playoffs because we're going to make it. The question is, can we do well in the playoffs? Well, let's uh, simulate and find out. So we're sitting at 27, 16, and 9, 63 points right now. Wild card team. Wild card team. So let's see here what we've got. So we've got Robertson, 57 points uh, on the season so far. 55 from Hintz. Velsky, 47, 39 from Vetrano. 37 from Delandria and uh, Haskinen. Jamie Ben 32, uh, your assist leaders. We've got Hintz with 39, 33 from Robertson. Pavelski, 32, 29 from Haskinen. Trana with 25, 22 from Ben. Delandria with 18, 16 from Dudenov. Johnson with 15. At your goal scoring, 24 from Robertson, 19 from Delandria. Hintz with 16, 15 from Pavelski. So, yeah, we've got uh, seven guys, at least 10 goals a game, 20 something there for him. Power play points, three guys is at least 10. Uh,. Hits 105 from Delandria, 81 block shots here from David Jurich, X69 from Hayskinen, Byron 59, 54 from McCabe, 55 from McCabe giveaways, and then your takeaways there. We got 63 from Jason Robertson. In terms of goalies, we've got Odinger, ooh, not too great, but Langanen's been really solid, so that's good to see. Now, if we look at the stats here, 3.38 goals, four per game, it's pretty good, but yeah, our defense this season. It's actually not that bad. I thought it would be a lot worse, but it's not. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, 3.38 goals for per game is near the top of the league. It's funny that we are sixth right now in the NHL, yet we are a wild card team. That's, that's actually really wild to think about. We're in, we're in sixth place, and we're a wild card team. We are in a very, very tough division. That's what it is. I mean, I know it doesn't seem. It actually, you know, now I think about it, we are in a good, we're in a really good division. Uh, so, I, we just got to step it up, which I think we will. I, I think we'll make the playoffs. But man, we are we are in a very tough spot. I mean, I'm gonna keep going. I mean, I don't have much money, so this is gonna be the team. Let's rock it out and see what happens. All right, we finished with 101 points. I mean. The the division we were in was absolutely wild. Um, you, this division, the Pacific one, was super weak. Um, but we were the fourth ranked team with 101 points. I mean, the Jets, Avalanche, Blackhawks, all better than us. I think we were, we might have been a wild card team actually. Uh, I mean, we'll sim the rest of the regular season. Hints with 91 points lead the team, by the way. But um, let's stop the sim. And, um, yeah, we're taking on the Kings, 92-point team. So, we'll see what happens here. But, yeah, you, you guys can see. It's tough. It was very tough. Um, entire, entire league, I mean, the Jets are the best team. The Avalanche, the Senators, Bruins. I mean, we were the eighth team. And, I mean, it, felt, it didn't even feel like that at times. So, good stuff, though. Goal scoring, 3.41. 2.91 goals against, which is nice to see. Uh, one of the top defensive teams in the National Hockey League. You got Hintz with 91 points to lead the squad. Same thing with uh, Robertson. Both of them leading the squad. Uh, 76 points hit from Pavelski. He missed some games. So does, so does Frank Vetrano. Delandria with 62 points, 56 from Haskinen. Uh, Vetrano with 52, 51 from Ben. Uh, you've got assist. 67 from Hintz, 49 from Robertson. Pavelski with 48, 46 from Haskinen. Ben with 35, 34 from Vetrano. Uh, Robertson, 42 goals, 29 from Delandria. Pavelski with 28, 24 from Hintz. Um, you get your power play points, 24 from Robertson to lead the team. Eight guys overall in double figures. You got your hits, block shots, giveaways, and takeaways. Hits, we've got a lot of guys with hits. Ten guys, at least 100 hits, which is pretty insane. Block shots, Jurczyk and Haskinen. On the block shots, get you giveaways. 76 there from McCabe, 70 from Hits, 69 from Haskinen, Jurchek with 62. Takeaways, 100 from Robertson, 84 from Hints, Pavelski with 76. Uh, goalies, uh, Odinger, 3.14 goals against average. Lankinen with 2.33. Uh, yeah, cool stuff there. Uh, So, Kings. Let's see what we're taking on. Let's see what happens. Um, 
against the Kings. And first game is a 4-0 shutout loss. Love that start to the series. Can we win game two, maybe? Yes, we can. All right, at least we even up the series. Game three even nice to win, which we don't. Shout out the EA Sim Engine as we go down 2-1. Are we going to go down 3-1? to one? I hope not. And we don't. Let's go. Now it's the best of three. Game five would be nice to win it. And we don't. Again, EA Sim Engine really coming in clutch here. Uh, we got to win game six and seven if we want to stay alive. I feel like we should be able to beat this team, but again, it is proving our worth uh, that we are struggling right now. At least Robinson getting a good goal there, but then Denault getting a goal right back. So, as I was trying to finish my sentence, which is crazy. And we're down 2-1. Fiala with a power play goal. Now we're down 3-1. All right, we are going to lose this game. 6-1. to one. Uh, Not even worth watching this. 7-2. to two. Yep, 7-3. I, I Once I saw 6-1, to one, no thanks. No. Absolute meltdown. Uh, definitely a pathetic loss there. Oof. And a horrible way to end the season. Uh, yeah, not good whatsoever. Don't know what happened. Had to have been injuries. I don't know, man. It was a huge meltdown. That's all I know. Yikes. Uh, I mean, Jamie Ben was scratched, so maybe that's why. I just... I don't know. But we were brutal. How are the goalies? I mean, the goalies were absolutely terrible, especially that last game. I mean, Jake Odinger was awful. Absolutely awful uh in the in the playoffs so all right well for the final season hopefully we don't have a disappointing ending like that because that was embarrassing yikes Vegas good in the stanley cup uh trying to stop the sim if we can ea thank you very much and what do we got here we've got the awards Vegas gold the knights jets were the yep bruins are trying to three-peat would have been insane if they did that uh art ross we're not getting any trophies here from the stars i assume and we do not. So let's head on to the fourth and final season. We got to find a way to improve this team because, I mean, if we're going to lose like that in the playoffs, there's got to be some changes. All right, I'm acquiring uh, Philip Denault, five first round picks from the Kings. We just lost to them, but we got a quality player in return. Uh, there was a franchise guy, but I didn't know because uh, we didn't scout him. But even then, I'm trying to get somebody to help us win now. So getting a Denault, I should think, should be super helpful on that front. All right, at the re-sign phase, Robinson. Got to make sure we get Robinson back on the team. David Juracek, got to make sure we get them back as well. Those are the guys we've got to worry about. Johnson would like to keep two, but I feel like we should be able to keep him on the squad. Dudinov. Well, for some of these other guys' contracts, they want to stay great. If not, no worries. Um, and then we'll uh, head on into free agency after that and try to see if there's any extra money left over to add some more talent to the team. Let's so re-sign Dudinov. Fox wants to test. Marchment re-signs. Steele re-signs. So we're going to basically keep most of our guys again. The top guys want to make sure we keep Robertson and David Jerichak. So we're going to do all that in free agency and uh, hopefully bring back the rest of the squad and try not to disappoint in the first round this year again. Traded for Evangelista and Svechkov. I traded away Sagan uh, and some picks. I need to free up some money because I need to make sure I can get David Juracek, like he just signed a contract uh, uh, sheet. So we're going to be able to match it. Uh, so I freed up uh, some cap room by doing that. Fourth and final season here. Um, I also signed Bastion and Smith, although they're not in the end. I, I mean, I think they're not starting, so it's fine. But yeah, uh, top two lines look pretty good. Third and fourth line are solid overall-wise. You know, Cam. Uh, defensively, we are, again, pretty much the same as last season. Uh, Jake Odinger, Lankinen. Again, I'm regular season, I'm not too worried about it. I think we can make the playoffs. The question is, how are we going to perform when the the games matter, which is in the playoffs? So let's see uh, what happens. And yeah, this is the team going forward. Hopefully the squad can, uh, like I said, do well in the playoffs. I mean, we just got to be able to get the job done. So we are sitting at 31, 15, and 4, 66 points in the Central Division. And Robertson with 65 points lead the team looking pretty good so far again the regular season like i said i'm not worried about the regular season i think we can make the playoffs we should be able to hints with 64 57 from dudena uh 57 from Pavelski, 34 from dudena johnson with 30 26 from uh hayes with 23 you see your assist leaders hints leading the way with 46 you get your goals jason robertson 27 for him you get your power play point leaders three guys leads double figures hits block shots giveaways and takeaways uh 96 from hits block shots 72 giveaways 50 takeaways 60 uh and then you got your goalies uh 2.58 from odinger lankanen with 
And then that is all. Cool. Uh, cool, yeah. I mean, I, I, there's not much to say. I mean, I, again, we're, we're a good regular season team. The question is, can we, can we put this all together in the playoffs? That's what it's been. I mean, we're, we're going to make it again. I, I wouldn't be, be kind of surprised if we bottom out, but uh, I mean, I guess injuries could theoretically happen. I mean, we're 3.3 goals for a lot of scoring this season. Uh, I mean, our defense second best in the league only to the Flames. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the season. I mean, this is this is the team. So, we just got to be able to get the job done in the playoffs. Make it and then try to win the Stanley Cup and afford the final season. That's the objective here. All right, so we're in the playoffs here, taking on the Blackhawks. And we were a 110-point team. Blackhawks, 92. So... We have the advantage over them, 51, 23, and 8. And we also won the conference with 110 points. And, I mean, Rangers were the best team in the league, but we had a good season. 3.51 goals for per game. 2.82 goals against. Uh, also top three in the league. Jason Robertson, 103 points, lead the squad. 103 from Hintz, 92 from Pavelski. And it kind of dips after that. Uh, ben is hurt again. Uh, ben was hurt a lot again this season. Uh, Hayes getting in hurt. Uh, hints 76 assists, 60 from Pavelski, 55 from Robertson. He also had 48 goals, 32 from Pavelski. Power play points, three guys at least 20, six, seven guys overall in double figures. And then hits, block shots, giveaways, and takeaways. And takeaways, you got 108 from Hints, giveaways, 68, block shots, 114. And yeah, we have uh, seven guys in double figures. Uh, cool. Let's hit. Let's simulate um, and see what happens. And yeah, try to win. So Blackhawks game one. Last time we played them, we beat them five two, and we beat them three to two this time in the playoffs. Game one, we win. Game two, we also win six to two. We are on a little bit of a roll here. We lose four three in overtime. I hate that. Game four, are we gonna lose this one? We do. Shout out the EA Sim Engine. I'd like to not lose game five, but we lose three straight. Shout out to EA Sim Engine, man. I, I really love this game so much sometimes. And now we're going to a game six, and it looks like we're about to lose the playoffs once again. No, but I hope not. I hope not. But we'll see what happens here. I'm fast simming if we if we score. So we need to get a goal here. We got a power play for Chicago. Are they going to convert? They are not. They got another one, and they're not going to convert as well. So that's good. And they're going to score Conor Bedard 1-0 lead after the first period. So we are down 1-0. Tie it up, though. Robertson power play goal makes it 1-1. One one. Can we maybe make it 2-1? I'd like to not go to overtime because every time we go to overtime in the sim, practically, it's always a loss. Donato getting a goal. Don't like that. Now we're down 2-1. End of the second period. And it is still 2-1. Got to win this one right here. And we are down three to one. Shout out to the Sim Engine, which I know you guys hate when I say that. I'm sure you guys do. <laughs> you probably clip off from that if you're even watching at this point. But I love doing it. And we're going to lose this game, ladies and gentlemen. Four, five to one. Wow. So win two straight and then lose four after. Love it. Absolutely love it. Could have won this game and could have won that game. But instead, we don't. So another disappointing ending to the season. I mean, we got the conference finals first season. Got swept, and then after that, just exit after exit in the first round. So, let's just uh, go to the full screen after we look at the awards. Also, do not have Philip Denault, which sucks. You know, Haskinen hurt. Cabe scratched. I mean, that doesn't help. I'll tell you that much. All right, let's see who ends up winning the Stanley Cup and then close out the video. All right, let's see the awards. And then we're going to close out this video right here. So, Devils Stanley Cup winners. Good for them. Rangers and the Blackhawks went all the way and lost to the Devils. Do we have any stars? No, we do not. Let's close out the video. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Did leave a like and subscribe. Comment down on those videos. Wherever socials play, the second channel and main channel down in the description. If you like other content from me, TJP. Two more teams, Panthers and then the Vegas Golden Knights to end it off. So, 
that's it. That's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. We'll see you soon. Peace.